I wanted to talk to you about a freedom partner who hasn't done a face reveal, but I met up with him here in Wisconsin, actually, and uh, he and I are uh, want to talk to you, but since he's not done a face reveal, I figured I would help him keep his identity a secret, and I brought him something from Asia that I think might help. Say hello to Roman Apples. Go ahead, he's gonna put that on, and we're going to talk to a freedom partner who has done podcasts, and uh and other miscellaneous media so come on over here rum i bet you didn't expect me on this channel no no not at all what's he, good he's done the mgn podcast we have yeah. spoken once or twice about maybe doing a freedom podcast um, I, don't, I, with don't, rum. I don't think it's possible it may not be possible they rum. want me they want me doing things outside of the castle rather than doing them on the castle <laughs> Rum runs a very adult show. Not that it's not that it's overly bad or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's 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 not necessarily always family friendly. So we're trying to see if we can find some middle ground there. Alright, well anyways. Are you uh, seriously trying to find middle ground? Yes. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll go with that. Um so it, for those of you who can't see my breath right now, uh it's as cold as it could be. Why we're gonna are you in Wisconsin. I don't know why we're in Wisconsin. We we're just lost. are. We're lost, by the way. So there's, we're, no, there's no jokes here. We're actually going to go see if we can find something else to do and see if we can find a new location and talk to you because it's cold. It's very cold. All right, next clip. I am still uh, hanging out with rum and apples. We're uh, still lost. Link in the description down below. We got we back. We don't know where we are. We got back out of the it's car. It's not helping. We got back out of the car. We are at another little stop here, and we we can't oh, gas station. We, we can't get back. Anybody. We can't get back to Illinois. Somebody, freedom, help us. Uh, we are getting a lot uh, done in the way of just kind of interacting and talking about things. So. Um, if we see any more developments, we'll let you know. Absolute developments? Yeah, developments. Am I on assignment? No, it's like photographs. You gotta develop them. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's develop things. Next clip. Freedom! So we are actually sitting Freedom. here. I'm sitting here with rum and apples. You um, are sitting here with me, Anthony. So I'm actually going to... Go ahead, you can you can sit right in your chair. There, there, <laughs> there we go. So we've been sitting here, we've been talking about everything yeah. under the sun. Rowan Apples has a video game coming out. I do have a game um, coming out. Now, you're not the developer of this game. Absolutely not. I cannot even develop a chair. What I, what I am what I did do is I provided voice work for a video game. It's called Perdition Wakes. You can find it on YouTube. We have some developmental videos out right now, and there's even a video out right now of my own audio being with the voiceovers I did. It was being edited and altered a little bit. So, if you want to look at that, I, I'd very much appreciate it. I, I've been working on it for, I think, a year. And I just now finally got the lay down to audio. I, I, I'm really excited about it, personally. It's, my, it's the first time I've been in a game that's been, you know, really major to me. And, guys, I talk about video games all day, and now I'm in one. I hope my game doesn't suck. <laughs> I, 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 really, I really do, Anthony. Like, what am I going to do? So you're going to give me a link for the description, right? I will absolutely give you a link for the description. All right. To the, to the channel and everything. Now, uh, Rum, you have about 1,000 subscribers? I have a, th I have a little over 1,000 subscribers now. Yes, I do. How many, how many people... Now, you've been doing this podcast for how long? I've been doing the podcast... The Rum and Apple Show, I've been doing for three years and uncivilized banter i've been doing for a little over a year and now real quickly that just came from i, I renamed across the pond to uncivilized banter because fans wanted it that way so i let them vote and across the pond was a different company that i was working with so once that company and i parted ways that show parted ways and we created uncivilized banter i know that was long but yeah. it, it is what it is so you've got on your show you've got you've got Uncivilized Banner, which is one series. Uncivilized Banner is one series. And then you've got the Rum and Apple show, and then you've got Rumatorials. Yes, I got Rumatorials. Um which we won't spoil for you. It's it's an interesting listen. Be sure to check the link in the description. It's visual too. Check that Ooh. out. It's it's yeah. So a lot of what you do is is audio, is mainly audio. Sometimes there's an audio visual aspect. Yeah. But Rumatorials are really the thing that has the most visual aspect to it. It right. absolutely has the most visual aspect. It, it's it's what I do. It allows me to work cr different creative muscles when it comes to scripting, when it comes to me being able to actually do live action segments that I previously was unable to do. 
And now that I'm able to do that, I want to kind of, I want to expand what, what the raw materials were. They used to be just, just scripted thoughts that I had that when I read them out loud, well, they were kind of funny and some of it was insightful, at least to my imagination it was. And so now that I put a visual element on it, I, I now have my own narrative running throughout the own raw material. So, and, and I won't spoil too much on that, but I have a, I have a narrative running through the raw material as the raw material is proceeding on. So for people who kind of like psychological stuff that in, that is a little bit of intrigue, you know, you should definitely check it out. Okay. You know? Um, okay. So now you've done stuff for other companies, like you said. Yeah, I've done you stuff did, for other companies. You did the MGN podcast for a little while. Yes, I did do the MGM podcast. Um, you uh, do you do two of your own? Yes, I do. I do. I've done. I did. Uh, I've done voiceover work for you and some of your own skits. Mm -hmm. I've worked with. Uh, I've worked with different members in the freedom community on various projects. And uh, honestly, I I would love to do more with freedom. To be truthful with you, because honestly, I and and forgive me for being, I guess, upfront with this, but man, freedom needs a podcast. Yeah. Ever since I joined Freedom, and due to circumstance, I saw other podcasts not be successful. I just felt that I, maybe not me, but at the very least, I could promote an idea or pitch an idea to you guys that you guys would find digestible and it's plausible. Yeah. I so, just I'm just saying it right now. I would I would love to do the podcast. We're not adverse to the idea, but if, there is a certain level of um, absolutely you there, know, nuance channels. that has to be uh, observed there, but. Um, so now you also did a podcast for Blackout Media. Yeah, I did. I did the Hour of Blackout podcast with Blackout Media. Now Blackout Media is gone now. That was when sub networks were allowed. Yeah, back when YouTube allowed those. When YouTube allowed sub networks, I was doing a podcast called An Hour of Blackout. It's where we provided network updates, and it was literally just a podcast for the partners, specifically for them, talking directly with them about the network and updates and different things. I remember we had Minecraft servers. We had we had audience members who came out to the podcast. We did uh, partner questions, and this was every podcast. Yeah. And I would berate B about an anime addiction that I will not go into. <laughs> you know, I can't go into that. <laughs> but okay. no, that, that's what that's what I did, and I know I, I know I have the experience for this. I know I could do it. It's just you know wild card maverick type situation you look so odd with your with with the mask on i'm sorry see here's the thing a anthony has seen me and he understands that i am a handsome handsome man unfortunately this is the reason i don't have a face reveal because if i if, if i if i took this off no 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 all the girls would be all the all the girls all the men everybody <laughs> all genders would flack i would flack i'd hit you with the blue steel and do the it doesn't translate with the mask. It does translate with the mask. It totally translates. <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, keeping this back on track. Now, sure. you um, you do a podcast. You syndicate that to iTunes. I syndicate the Roman Apple Show and Uncivilized Banter onto iTunes. Okay. Yes. So, now, you said that you have that set up through your WordPress website to automatically feed content to iTunes, right? Yes, it is. It is available in that direct method. Hmm, okay. mysterious how you knew that pivotal information, <laughs> sir. Now, the reason I bring that up is because a lot of people, you know, may have the impression that that's a complicated task, that it's hard to do. Um, would you say that it's e equally as easy for somebody who does, like, YouTube commentaries to just submit the audio? Well, like just the audio portion, because that is essentially kind of like a podcast, right? Like yes, if they're doing like, of. commentaries with gameplay? It is comparable to a podcast. However, I think there's a different element. Um, podcast, well, okay. I'm, not, I'm definitely not the guy to determine what a podcast actually is. A podcast, by definition, is audio format, right? And you listen to it, and it's usually an hour or, or whatever, however the length is. But if you want to do that, it's easily accomplishable. I mean, the method I use is through WordPress, okay? So, and, and that's how you get your XML feed and how you put it into the podcast application that allows you to connect it. Then you have to wait for the approval process, take up to two weeks. There's a litany of, there's a litany of other things that we could, we could probably do a separate video on or something. If people really had an interest, they can comment somewhere, there, maybe not in there. Why are you pointing to there. my crotch when you do that? That's just creepy. Don't look! We should probably stop recording. 
Probably. Okay. But we're not going to. Uh, Why? all right. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well. Do we? Do we not? I don't know. We're going to leave that one up to Julius. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll leave it up to the editor. Yeah. Editor Julius, we love you. We also mentioned you on the podcast. You and I did a podcast. We did. We actually did two hours worth of material, which you'll probably release the whole thing on iTunes and then splice that up in videos. Yeah. Uh, now, why do you do that? Why? Yeah, why do you like why do you do the full form over on iTunes and then miniature versions on YouTube? Well, it's um it's kind of a simple boring answer. The Rum and Apple show is predominantly an iTunes podcast because I wanted something exclusive to the website and exclusive to iTunes. Now, Uncivilized Banter, it came across in a different way. Its creation was different. It started as a YouTube podcast and I wanted to remain loyal to my co-host and I kept it on YouTube, but he now wants it on iTunes, so we now transition that to iTunes as well. But it always remains a YouTube-first podcast. Like, when, when we're done, it automatically goes up, and then it goes to iTunes later. Okay. Like, so there's just different, uh, I guess, uh, what's it called? Um, priority is okay. taken on certain podcasts. So, now, my, my assumption was that you broke it up into topics and I smaller do. bits. I so, do. you know, so that you could get more traffic via search and related videos. Well, some people don't have the time or some people don't have the, the want to listen to a full hour to a full two hours because some people just don't have that ability to, for whatever reason. Yeah. So if I cut it up and I cut up good segments that I like or I have a, a new segment coming out, best of Uncivilized Banter, best of the Roman Apple show, where we just grab really funny moments or some moments that really made sense and whatever and put it into one clip or that like I have been doing, we take clips about talk, me talking about various topics or my co-host or whoever I have on, like you've been featured in plenty of them, mm -hmm. been on the podcast a lot, check it out on YouTube. But that's really what it is. And the reason we do, I do it is because I think, it, I think it's easier for people because attention spans are different and people have a harder time watching longer content. So yep. if you cut up the, the video clips, they can find exactly what they want. And if they want, if they're interested, they can go finish the full podcast later. Yeah. So it's just it's just an option for people. It makes sense. So it's easier. And then, you know, they don't have they don't they really don't have to think too much about it. Now you're a dog owner. I am a dog owner, yes. Um tell me a little bit about your dog. My dog is her name is Bree. She looks like Brian Griffin from Family Guy. <laughs> Anthony can confirm it. She yes. looks like Brian Griffin. There's yes, no way does. around it. I'm unaware of what her exact breed is. What I was told is she is a boxer pit mix, but I think she's a runt because she's really tiny, mm -hmm. but she's 40 pounds. She's cute. She's, she's a little cutie. She's a, oh yeah. But she, she is, she is a, a handful from time <laughs> to time, if I say it politely. No, I love my dog. I, I, I love my dog. I've always owned dogs. I think it's, um, I think, I think animals have a drastic effect on people mm. in a very positive way. But yeah, no, I have a dog. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What, what else? Uh, oh, uh, so we were talking earlier about Spreadshirt. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. the and, spread shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're we're running like at the top of the the counter here, so we got to wrap this clip up. Yes, sir. But uh, you're gonna have some merch up on spread shirt that you found through the Freedom Dashboard here uh, soon. Aren't yes, you? I did. I went through the Freedom Dashboard, and I'm working with spread shirt. Uh, the reason we don't have anything up right now is because we have three custom designs. We have a Roman Apples T-shirt and Uncivilized Banter T-shirt. And we have an Immortality Not Mourn t-shirt, which is a video game skit comedy series I do with my co-writer and the co-founder, John Nava, a.k.a. Mr. Hello Diction. But we will have those designs up, and we will absolutely, absolutely use the spread shirt. And it actually is kind of really useful. The Freedom Dashboard has a lot more to offer than I originally thought. Mm. Because for the first year, I didn't really even use it. And then, like, through a little bit of prodding through partners, <laughs> they're kind of like, hey, this is spread shirt. And I go... Oh, pray tell, what is a sh shirt spread? They go, n n no, rum, rum, spread shirt. It's like when people told me, told me about Vine. And I said, <laughs> I said, what's a Vine? What, do you, what are you climbing things now, you weirdos? What's going on here? Just, oh, man. But no, spread shirt's dope. I like it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let you go, and, uh, and we'll see you in the next clip. Oh, God, it's cold. It's, so it's cold. cold. It's, it's cold. cold. It's cold. It's cold. Oh, <laughs> So we're a buff. So we're a Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, um, I had a thought. You had a thought? Yeah. That's a first. I did. I know, right? <laughs>
what if buffaloes actually had wings? Because, hear me out, I would not trust, like, 400, 500 pound bison running around with the ability to fly. Mm, Could you imagine hunting? Could you imagine hunting? That it would become 50 times more dangerous. There'd be people aiming in the air, shooting in the sky, and then you'd have 500 pound dead bison falling to the ground. Mm. I see impending doom. Yeah. Why do we go? Why do we come here? I don't know. I don't know either. Food. Food. Uh, <laughs> All right, food. That's why we came here. We're hungry. So, um, so we uh, wanted to also uh, talk to you about a couple other things. Um, just basically how important it is to do collaborations. Um, Rum has pretty much been. He's based his entire, um, you know, podcasting spiel around uh, collaborations. Finding co-hosts, finding people to talk to, finding people with interesting viewpoints, things like that. Um, it's it's vitally important, uh, and it is something you can do no matter what kind of content you create. So you know, we we were talking and you know about YouTube and and social media and other things, and we felt the need to point that out because Rum, being someone who does it all the time, um, has an interesting viewpoint on that. Collaboration's important now. I, I will fully say that sometimes you have to do things on your own. You have to commit to certain projects on your own. However, even in doing that, you're still collaborating with people. So if you make a short film or you do a gaming collaboration of some type, you're still working together in some respects. So collaboration is important because you get different looks and you get different mentalities and ideology on aspects, on templates or takes or just formulas that work in other in, that have worked before that you might not have thought of. So collaboration is really good. It also benefits, it also benefits uh, Anthony and I, like we do podcasts together and, and it clearly benefits him, his audience and my audience. You're able to put more eyeballs on, who, on, on, on your content. And that's at the end of the day, that's kind of what you want. You want to put yourself out there on as many forums as possible with as many eyeballs and his ears and, and eyes you can get on it. Eyeballs and eyes, you see that? Mm. Could you imagine if human beings had like two pairs of eyes? Like one on the front, one in the back. I so think, they always got their eye on you. I think moms already have that. Yeah, but that's like an invisible kind of <laughs> mythic, mystical power. Yeah, that's true. Like my mom used to sneak up behind me when I was doing suspicious things as a teenager, and she would like ninja me. Like she could, like she could surprise me and be silent. Well, she did tell you if you kept playing with it that you would go deaf. Is that why I got a hearing problem? What? Oh. Sorry. Um, so hopefully that that joke went over the head of many people. Uh, anyway, so... The, I'm slightly the, perplexed that the, you said that. The, um, the overarching concept that we want to <laughs> talk about... Collaboration is important. It, it is, and it's... For the most part, it's super simple. It's super easy once you get it figured out. When you, Once you get figured out what kind of people you can easily work with... Which is, chemistry I think, is important. Chemistry it's is very important. One of the important. biggest ones. You know, if you force collaborations, if you force working together with people, you're going to hate it, and it's going to show through. So work with, you know, find people in the community, Freedom Forums, uh, Freedom Discord. But that's probably one of the easiest places. Seriously. The Freedom Forums, it's... When I first started, personal story about using the Freedom Forums, for real. When I first started, I got a majority of those first 10, 15 interviews all from those Freedom Forums. I put it onto the collab, the collab uh, little tab that they got. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called, really. I'm an old guy. Leave me alone. But I, I put it out there and said I wanted people to come on who are YouTubers and get get different looks and what their thoughts and their ideology was about video games. And sure enough, I got a good amount of responses. And you can have those results because I was pretty clear and concise about what I wanted. Th that's a, a thing that I see in the community. Sometimes people don't know how to get to the meat of what it is they're asking for or what they need. Well, okay, uh, the best way I can go about it is, look, it's it's almost as if you're just, keep it, like, like, it's like a wanted ad. Yeah, the, the, the quick who, what, when, where, why, and how. That's all you need. You don't need like a four and a half page dissertation of why you need this to happen. You just say, you could just say, let's say for example, you're doing a machinima based series and you're utilizing Grand Theft Auto V. All you need to say in that ad is, help wanted GTA 5 body actors, mm. right? And in that description, you say, I need help 
with GTA 5. There's some people over there and they're looking real suspicious. Hey, pretty lady, how are you? They're, they're looking at the guy in the anime mask. Hey, it's, it's not my fault that handsome men are looked at and endeared upon throughout the galaxy. Collaboration is important. So, for example, let's say you're working on something. It's GTA 5. And you, when you fill that out, you put in the title GTA 5 Body Actors Wanted. In the description, I am working on a machinima, I require body actors, this many body actors, these are the days I need you, and, and we, can up, we can work out scheduling. Disclose, very importantly, disclose if you're going to pay them or not. If you're not going to pay them, be sure to, to promote and credit their channels in descriptions and annotations and links and recommended channels. There's all sorts of ways to work together, and it always benefits everybody. And, and once again, I, will, I go back to chemistry, because... If you don't have chemistry, if you're collabing with someone you don't like, mm -hmm. it is very reflective in the final product. So be kind of be kind of screen your people, so to speak. Now, if it's body acting, that's one thing. But if you're if you're doing a YouTube video and you don't like the person, that's reflective. Yeah. And that doesn't help anybody. So there is a little bit of filtering you got to do. But overall, I I don't know if we went through specific guidelines, but I mean there's some there's some tips in there that can assist you. Yeah. And and don't be afraid to put it out there. That's the number one thing, you know? You're never going to get anything done if you don't post it, if you don't ask. That's that's I don't know if anybody might have that issue. But if anybody's unsure and and you're having trouble and you don't know if people might care about your project, well how do you know? Just put it out there and see if you get any bites. I I made a whole guys, I made a whole podcast off the fact that I like talking about video games. If you guys have collaborative efforts you want to put out there, you have dreams and passions that you have, it's accomplishable. You just have to be willing to have the dedication to understand that this could be a longer process that you once anticipated. But to expedite it a little bit, collaborations and over time, you can build your own network. You can build your own network of within your friends. That's what I've done, essentially. Anthony's my friend. I work, he comes on the podcast. We have a good time. I've worked with the num a numerous amounts of other people, like Roshu Gaming. I've worked with uh, my boy Jacob. You know, people know Cobra TV. There's you a worked, lot of people. You worked with a couple of people over there at TubeBuddy? Yeah, I worked with Andrew Can from TubeBuddy. Actually, K Andrew Can from TubeBuddy. Shout out to our boy. I, he was just on a podcast on Uncivilized Banter not too long ago. He was there taking listener calls, having a good old time. So, and, 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 it all, and it all comes back from the time that we've known each other just a long time now. We, we're just friends, and we talk, and we... We all have our own separate entities and, and aspirations of what we want to do. And in doing that, we've collaborated together and they all come on the podcast. I'm working with Ken on a film right now, on a short film. It's a motivational film. I'm not going to reveal much more, but that's a little teaser, right? It's just like the video game thing. It, it, it didn't fall into my lap. It, it came to passing because I kept in contact with people who were business minded and they saw me and I just happened to be the person in the Rolodex that they wanted. And you can build that too. It just takes time and it takes effort and you got to be patient. And that's probably something hard to do too. This is beyond mm -hmm. collaboration now. This is more just things you got to remember when you're doing this stuff. Yeah. You know, and I don't know. I mean, it's probably one of the more important aspects about, you know, uploading schedule too, probably. Yeah. Probably uploading schedule. We talked about that a lot. That's important. But one thing that I see people doing a lot with that is they will... They will put out non-content in a way to keep a schedule. Filler content? Filler filler content that's obviously filler just to keep up with a schedule that they arbitrarily created. Which, you know, I think that, is a, a problem. I think that can negatively impact a small channel doing it early. Yeah. Like, if you're a huge channel, if and you got, like, 2 Someone million subscribers... Someone will always like it no matter what. Right. But I think if you're a small channel, you want to set... the the biggest thing about running a YouTube channel or doing anything creative is that you have to put who you are inside that product, right? I do a podcast. I put who I, who I am deep down inside in that podcast. You know what I'm saying? I just think overall it's something you have to do in order to make it successful, but... Mm -hmm. It is what it is, right? Yeah. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I think we're probably going to cut off for now because we've yeah, we've talked about a lot in this video. We're about 20 minutes or so. Easily. Um. So uh, till next time. I took too much of your time. No, no, you're good. <laughs> uh, if you want to see more of Rum, I, uh, like we said, I just filmed a podcast with him. It'll probably be over on his channel. Link in the description down below to that. Uh, and we'll also talk uh, probably more because I probably do his show 
what, like twice, three, four times a year or something like that? 